Hola, ¿qué tal a todos? A través de GoRacingTV.com estamos en vivo una vez más. Yo acá por Florida y les habla otra amiga, compañero de la bellísima, grandísima marca y corrido que nos va a estar invitado a empezar para hablar de aceleración, marca, recordar a todos que este es una presentación especial de Mazda y de Cooper Tires. Estamos aquí en este grandísimo lugar viviendo la experiencia del show más grande de la industria racing que se celebra cada día. De la industria automotriz. Muy buenos días, muy buenos días a toda esa fanaticada que nos está viendo a través de GoRacingTV.com No se lo pueden perder y como de costumbre tenemos artistas aquí, artistas de dragueo para todos ustedes que no se lo pueden perder Un fin de semana que es completamente espectacular, solamente se da aquí en el centro de convenciones de Orlando Florida y sí, tenemos que agradecer a todos los que ayer ya nos vieron y han enviado sus mensajes en Twitter, Go Racing TV, y también en Facebook, Go Racing TV. Muy contentos estamos de todos aquellos que nos han visto en esta transmisión especial que por primera vez se hace acá en España, el este gran tercer año consecutivo que se hace a través de Go Racing TV, pero quienes saben todo el mundo de Torino, contentos de hacer en español, aunque ahora, con nuestro invitado, vamos a hablar en inglés. Vamos a hablar a la parte de inglés y, ladies and gentlemen, Next to me, the best driver. <laughs> Could be best driver, okay? I think, I think. Be guys. Welcome to the show, D. Well, it's good to be here. Um, you know, I, I can't believe you, you sat out for a year. You sat out for a year, and uh, now it's our time coming back, and uh, I'm really excited. D, I know you have a lot of stories to tell us, okay? <laughs> the people are waiting at But um, tell me, how are you so? Well, um, to be 100% honest with you, uh, I got out of the military and I bought an RX-7, and that RX-7 was twin turbo, and I realized that if I turned the boost up, I would go faster and faster and faster, and until uh, I finally broke it. And uh, but what happened was, is I was racing on the street, got caught, got my license taken away, and then. I realized that the only place that I can race is at the track. Then you learn. And I learned. So I went to the track and started racing, and the rest is history. You know, so a little bit of trouble turned out to be a good thing. So you're happy. Definitely that was a good message. Uh, not exactly the way you wanted, <laughs> but then you had the message. You turned into a professional driver now with the help of a lot of people. Tell us a little bit about your story. You say you have a year off. That was because of a huge accident you, 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 you had a one year ago. But before that, you have some stories to tell you in your professional career. What have you learned about the techniques of the drag racing and uh, the technology we are using today? And how, after your, uh, your wreck, after your accident, you're preparing for, for a new season? Let's leave that to the, for the end. What's going on next? But let's talk about what has happened to you. Well, we were at the uh, Pan American Pan Nationals in uh, Atco. It's a very huge race, uh, especially for a small compact and small compact fans. Everybody knows about the Pan Ams. Um, it was a very big event, so it was a size. And we went there, and unfortunately, in the second round of qualifying, we ran a 745 pass at 185 miles an hour. And right when I went through the traps, right when I went through the traps, we hit some oil, and I didn't get the shoes out in time, and I hit the wall at 185 miles an hour. Uh, it, was, it, it was nuts, but... Uh, what do you feel in those seconds when you the car? Well, I mean, the very first thing is you'd be amazed. From the time I was four years old, from the time I was four years old to now, my whole life flashed in front of me and I saw everything. And it seemed like it took forever to hit the wall, you know? Um, and you see everything flash in front of you, and then, boom, the next minute. Did you get anything? Actually, no. It, nothing happened to me at all. And, you know, I was blessed by God. Thanks to that good chassis, man. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, Tito Chassis, uh, best friend and good guy, and the guy who built my chassis, is the reason why I'm sitting here today, because the construction of that chassis kept me safe. I got out of the car, and the next day, got, got back to work on it. Absolutely no problems. What kind of problem do you make to the after the accident? Well, so many, I don't even think we have enough time to list. Uh, but basically, we're on wave savings program. The car was 
2,300 pounds, 2,350, which is very heavy for the class that we run. Most of the cars are around 2,000 pounds. So, but oh, we have a very large car. It's a wagon. It's a Mazda Speed 3. Um, so yeah. It's beautiful. It's like here. that. Yeah. The nice here. Yeah. The beer I show in the front. Yeah. Oh, it's, and it is, it's right up front. Um, on the right hand side of the lobby, you have to leave. Uh, you, you really need to take a look at it. I spent like 30 minutes this morning looking at that car, and it's just a tremendous job. Uh, and we're anxious to see it. Uh, so, you know, some of the components that we put in to make the car light, uh, carbon fiber wheelie bars, instead of using a traditional metal or titanium, you know, like a stainless or titanium one with a composite, um, carbon fiber brakes, um, titanium bolts on the bead lock, you know, everything you can think of, everything was analyzed and thought about where it can be saved weight. And uh, we're probably right around the, the 2,000 pound mark, so we were able to save 350 pounds by paying attention to detail and analyzing everything. And getting it Tell us a little bit about the first power. First power, well, we run the, uh, we run the uh, Dizzy engine, the Mazda Speed 3 engine, the same engine that came in the car, factory block and factory head. We're not allowed to run billet or anything like that. It has to be Mazda production head and block. So we actually use the normally aspirated uh, MCR cylinder head with the turbo block. It's a 2.3 liter, um, Aries pistons, uh, GRE aluminum rods. Um, you know, we're making about, on the dyno, about 1,100 to the tires. What? Yeah, out of a four cylinder, it's amazing. Right? Yeah, I mean, the, the amount of fuel that it consumes, we have to run 12, 1600 cc injectors, and after a pass, we're, we're basically three gallons of methanol for every pass. It, it's amazing. Where do you think the competition will come from uh, next year when you, you're already in, in the, the development uh, process of your new car, which is beautiful. Uh, have you tested how is it running and what, what can you expect for next year? Um, well, we're going to uh, test the West Palm in February um, to actually go down the track. We're going to do some more dyno testing in-house, uh, but we will be on the track in West Palm in February. We have time in the calendar. Everybody has to see that, okay? The, you know, uh, the ultimate goal is to be the fastest. The fastest two-rotor or four-cylinder right now is about 680-something, and uh, our goal is to be faster than that. We want to be the fastest, and we think we can do it. Definitely, you will. Well, tell us about your relationship with the guy who's on your next, Tito Chasm. Uh, Tito. <laughs> Tito, I met Tito. Uh, to, I'll try to make the story quick. Uh, Tito, what happened was, Somebody else was supposed to build my car, and they sat, the car sat for a month, and they didn't do anything to it. And I called Tito, and I said, Tito, i got to have the car built in three and a half months. Mine's expecting me to show up to the car, to show up to the track in three and a half months. And we had nothing. We had an empty floor, no car. Three and a half months later, I showed up at the track, and we were there. And ever since then, nobody else builds any of my cars except for Tito. <laughs> We tell you, so if you're finished by the Disney, it's finished, right? That's the most important part. We have schedules when we're racing, you gotta be. Well, that guy we're talking about is next. He's gonna be with us right after this race. Remember, we're live in GoRacingTV.com. This is the special live streaming show uh, from the PRI show in Orlando, Florida. Thanks to Mazda and Cooper Tire. And he is gonna stay around because we're gonna talk to Tio Chassis and then both of them they have good stories to tell us. Definitely. Yeah, so don't move. Everybody, everybody. We will be back uh, in a good